Alright, well, here we go again. I'll make this quick. Again, SSFHC. I'm using another Zizzerin's build guide, this time 3.13, not 3.14. It's from the previous league, but it should work fine. It is Detonate Dead Necromancer. Should be good. You put down corpses, explode them, deal big damage, big things. Let's get started. Yes? Well, I can take these three links. And they shouldn't be hard to get to the colors I want. Okay. And I... I think I can just alchemy orb this. <laughs> That's actually a good wand. Not for this build, but... It's very good for... ED. Oh. You know, I, I want to keep this one safe, and this one's perfect, so I might as well grab that. Off I go. Hopefully the leveling process for this should be faster, just because I'm more used to it. Alright, well the brute is fight. I don't know how dangerous this will be. With Orb of Storms, I obviously want to stay close, but I don't know how much danger that'll put me in. Okay. Okay, so staying close was not a good idea, but luckily I'm alright. how this weird fight is going to be. Hopefully not too bad. Oh, I'm going to quickly leave because I just remembered I forgot to put on Herald of Thunder and Skitterbots, which might make it easier. Well, hopefully this fight goes a little bit better now. I appear to be doing much more damage. Okay. I was having trouble clearing those before. Okay, well, that was much better. Well, earlier in the act, I was actually quite worried about this fight, but I think my damage won't be bad, especially with Elemental Overload. I mean, a little scary, but it wasn't too bad. A triple res belt. I think this is worth going for. I'm actually very excited because I'm very close to being able to use the next skills. I think it'll be fun to use, like Armageddon Brand and all of that. Oops. I'm missing a skill point. I just completely forgot about this. Well, I guess it's a good time to now. It's pretty safe. I can just run by everything. Farewell. 
Well, there's my skill point. And honestly, it's probably worth getting Mind Over Matter now. Since I'm only going to have Herald of Ash, I'll actually have quite a bit of mana. I have a lot of buttons to press though. I guess I use this. This, this, this. Hmm. Well, I'll try my best. I sincerely hope it might last longer than two hours. Oh, that's a pretty good pair of gloves. Okay, I need to get my skills ready here. Okay, that dealt with it very quickly. And now I have a very good pair of gloves here. Yeah, that was very easy. And some free jeweler orbs. This leak really is nice for currency. That was quick. I mean, I feel like I might as well go with this. Five alterations? I don't think this is very good, but I just feel like going for it at this point. I know this won't be my final skill, but that felt really nice. Just... that was insane. Well, I'm hoping for this fight to be fairly easy. Okay, I need to dodge still. <laughs> I mean, that was more dangerous than it needed to be. What? What? This early? I can use that at 37. Okay, that was very easy. Oh, this is the piety fight. I'm pretty sure I'll be fine. Okay, that was fine. Before, I waited until after the Malachi fight to do lab. That was because I wanted to switch my skill first. Because with the previous build, I just wasn't confident in my damage. But now I am, so I think I'm gonna do lab now. Necromancer. What? Triple, oh it double res, 15 movement speed, 69 life, that's, that's a good pair of boots. I don't think I have a good, that's a good helmet. This is also a good helmet, but it's good for a different character. I think I'm, oh, I'm not gonna even quality it. Perfect, okay. 
So this will be the helmet I switch into. I can get cremation already and get the things that I need. What is it? Hopefully the one decision I make that doesn't go with the guide isn't a mistake, but well, now I'm gonna roll this. I don't know the highest life I can get actually. The highest is 60 to 69. If I was going to go for the highest with alterations, it would only take 31. Well, I mean, I'll try my best, but I'm not going to even go for the highest. Oh, okay. <laughs> this does feel like a bit of a waste, even though it only took five. But, I mean, this is going to be pretty good for maps. And, I mean, it's not useless, so it's not bad. Here we go. Of course, I have to go for this. <laughs> Another fossil. If it was anything but stone circles, I'd be happy, but this makes me very frightened. I think I already have one of these. Well, I hit 39. Well, this build is really shaping out to be good for at least leveling. Which hopefully means I'll make it past leveling this time. Well, innocence, hopefully this won't be too difficult. extremely easy. was very quick and luckily it was much better than the previous one. <sighs> nice. 
guys. Exalted art. Easy fight. Wait a minute. Is that even better than my helmet? Open suffix. 75 ES instead of 50. 91 HP. It's not that much better, but it's one that's worth getting. Really? That's an interesting pair of boots. I can possibly get away with using it by crafting resistances onto some other stuff. I won't switch to this though, I'll keep this helmet. Okay. Alright, boss fights in the acts are pretty much trivial at this point for me. And here we go with the Avarkali fight. All spell skill gems. That's really good. I needed one for fire, but this works perfectly. Interesting. Well, I'll have to put that on. Whoa, what? T1 life. Interesting. I'm. I mean, the. The rest of it's not great, but currently I have actually no life on my amulet. So be it. As disappointing as it is. Well, I'll have to find out how to get my resists up and be able to wear this amulet. Goodness. Wow, that was a lot of damage. This is a good shield, or it's at least decent. I think I'll take it. What? Wait, what? <laughs> a five link. I mean, T6 life, it's not great, but I, this would be great for another character. The same choice. 
so that's a five link and a decent shield. Well, I want to find out how to wear this. My resistances are really good, actually. Well, I guess that's already sorted. Oh my goodness, what was that? I mean, these are triple, wait a minute, these are so much better than the boots I have, and my boots are good. This is insane. I don't want to go for anything else, I just want to take this. I'll probably save them for another build, honestly. This fight can be a bit scary, but hopefully... Hopefully it won't be too bad. That was very easy. Well, finally I make it to Blood Aqueducts. I'll probably switch my skill very soon so that I can farm Blood Aqueduct to 70? I don't know what I'm supposed to farm it to. I mean, probably like 68 I think it is, if I'm remembering correctly. I think this will be the point where I actually set up my final skills, like Detonate Dead and everything else. I'll see what I can do. I do have some very good gear, luckily, so I might be able to put something pretty good together, and it'll pretty much be my mapping setup. Alright, well I have some things I need to do for actually getting this build to be good. It's pretty good now, but there are some big upgrades I can get. And now is the time for the really big upgrade. It works a little strangely, but pretty much from Heist I can get High Life Spectres, and those add to the pool of Desecrate, the corpses I can spawn, which basically means my detonate dead detonates higher health corpses and deals more damage. So it's the Rusty Crusher and Auto Enforcer from Repository and Tunnels. Okay, that's one. Alright, I didn't find the Auto Enforcer, but I can't resurrect. I can't have two Spectres anyway, so I guess I'll come back when my Ray Spectre is higher. Wait. Did my Spectre die? I think it did. I'll probably just come back later for that. Alright, well, I'll actually go do a lab right now. Well, here we go. I just, I, I still need to be a bit careful, but it shouldn't be very dangerous. Especially with how much life I have. I do have Mind Over Matter as well, so that's additional defense. Ooh. I mean, that's a good leveling bow, right? Uh, this is going to help with DPS quite a bit. 50% increased maximum life of corpses. And the increased attack and cast speed, I guess, will be useful. And maybe Children Shock, I'm not quite sure, but there we go. Alright. Hopefully this will be fairly safe. Can I desecrate here? I can. I need a Rusty Crusher and Auto Enforcer. Can I get an Auto Enforcer like this? I might not be able to get one like this. Okay, I want to make sure these Spectres stay alive. Okay, they both died. Okay, I got 
cut the auto -enfor enforcer. And that's the Rusty Crusher. So that should be a very big upgrade. Alright, I want to quickly set up a Spectre Bank just in case. PvP only. Now this character will be able to hold specters for me, so if they die I'll just be able to easily get them back. And these specters are good because they have so much life, and detonate dead is based on life, and desecrate is based on what monsters are in the map, and specters count as within the map. So basically you just add these to the pool of monsters that can be spawned by desecrate and then blown up by detonate dead. So this will probably be the final blood aqueduct. Maybe this is worth keeping. <laughs> uh, this this is probably has plus one to cold spell. There's that. Well, Merceau Slab, I guess. Hopefully I can just burst the fight and then not have to deal with it much. Yeah, like that. And I will go for these two points. This doesn't look bad. I mean, it looks like some extra safety. And I faced him already, which is nice. I think this is just the final phase, the heart phase. That is quite a lot of rewards. What? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. T1 life, T1 hybrid. Really? Wait a minute. Do I need resistances that badly? I don't think I do. I can craft them on this. Oh my goodness. I think I need I need two red tech oh there we go. There. Again, this is still a good helmet. I'm gonna keep it, but the luck I've gotten feels very good. It feels a, a little abnormal. Like, I also got this pair of boots, which is also pretty insane. So I guess next episode we'll kick off with actually doing maps and trying to, I guess, get my 
gear a bit more situated. I'm very hopeful for this character. Looking forward to it. That leaves this episode off on a bit more of a hopeful note, and I'm really looking forward to continuing this character. But for now, I hope you enjoyed the episode, and I'll see you in the next one.